Hello, this is Mighty Owl. We have to add and subtract all the time during the day. Like when we figure out how much a snack costs, how much time we have until soccer practice, or how much sugar to measure into our cookie recipe. But how do we know when to use addition or subtraction? We are going to take a close look at some word problems today. Let's start with Manuel. He is organizing his toy car collection. He already has 45 of his toy cars put away. But he still has 5 toy cars left to find a place for. How many toy cars does he have in all? Here are the cars Manuel has already put away. And here are the cars Manuel still has left to clean up. Let's look closer at the clues in this problem. Well, we know the numbers given are 45 and 5. That's a good start. Now, are we adding them? Subtracting them? The problem doesn't say the words plus or minus, so we need to dig for clues. There are words that can help us identify which operation to use, adding or subtracting. Do we see any of these words in our problem? Yes, I see in all, all together, or in all may mean the total for one step, or for the entire problem, for example. Those words both mean putting things together, which is addition. That means 45 cars and 5 more cars, or 45 plus 5. Since 45 plus 5 is 50, you've just calculated that Manuel has 50 cars in all. You understood this was an addition problem because the 45 cars were put together with the 5 cars to make 50 cars in all. But what about Rania, who is making some extra money mowing lawns? Last week, Rania made $40 mowing lawns. Then she made some more money this week. Now she has $60 in all from mowing lawns. Rania wants to know how much of the money she made this week. This one is a little tougher. It sure seems like we are putting together the money from last week with the money from this week to get $60. We see the keyword in all, which usually means to add, but we don't know how much money Rania made last week. So the addition problem looks like this. This means that 40 plus some number equals 60. You can see that we are adding, but we only know one of the two numbers that are being added. We need to find the other number. By counting up, we find that 40 plus 20 is 60. This means that Rania made $20 this week. Great work! By creating an addition equation, you figured out that Rania made $20 this week. Sometimes it can be difficult when just looking at a problem to tell if you should add or subtract. It can really be helpful to draw out a model or think of the story in your head. You can try asking yourself, what is happening in this story? Or you can ask, what do I start with? And what comes next? These questions might help you figure it out. With that in mind, let's try one more. Ben's bakery makes a huge batch of bagels every morning. This morning, Ben made 75 sesame bagels and 50 poppy seed bagels. How many more sesame bagels did Ben make than poppy seed bagels? Oh man, for this one, we are not putting anything together or taking anything apart. This might be the trickiest one yet, but that's okay. You just need to try some of our tools. Let's start with looking at the question, then we can draw a model. The question asks us how many more, and we have the numbers 75 and 50. Can I find any clue words in the story? Yes. How many more is subtraction. Now let's draw it out to make sure we're understanding correctly. Here are the 75 sesame bagels and the 50 poppy seed bagels. We want to know how many more sesame seed bagels Ben made. This is the amount we want to find right here. We want to compare the number of bagels. So we start with all of the sesame bagels. Then we subtract all of the poppy seed bagels, 75 minus 50. This leaves us with 25. But what does 25 represent? it means that there are 25 more sesame bagels than poppy seed bagels. That was definitely a long one, but you did some great work. Let's go over everything we learned today. First, make sure you read the problem to understand what is going on. Try drawing a model 
that will help understand what is happening and search for clues. You also saw how some key words in a problem can be helpful. When you see in all or all together, it means the total. Sometimes you need to add to find the total, and sometimes you need to take the total and subtract from it. When you see how many more or how many fewer, it means that you are comparing two things. You will probably want to take the smaller amount and subtract it from the larger amount. Then, if you are still not sure whether to add or subtract, try asking yourself some questions like, what happens first? And what happens next? This can help you figure out whether the numbers should be added together or subtracted. Finally, once you find an answer, ask yourself, what does this number mean? This will help you figure out if you solved it correctly. I know some word problems can be tough, but if you take them one step at a time, I know you can solve them. Speaking of steps, I hear we will be solving two-step word problems next. How exciting. See you there.